This LSVT companion tutorial is all about how to find the data that are collected when you use the LSVT companion program. When you download your software or install it, two icons will automatically appear on your desktop. This top icon launches the program and the bottom icon LSVT data is where your data will be stored. So once you launch the program, as always, you'll need to type in your password and log in. You can select your client that you're going to use, collect your treatment data. Of course, you would go through the process of your exercises, the ah, uh, the high, low, etc. And you can see the other tutorials to learn more about how that's done. At the end of the session then, you'll go to your LSVT data file. Um, opening this file, and let me just put it within your view here. And you can select the client for whom you just collected data. In this case, we'll select uh, the client Cynthia Fox. And you can see there are results files, which are Excel spreadsheets for every time a session was done. And you can open up the session, and we'll use this one as a demonstration, and see how the data were collected. Once again, I'll size this to fit in the screen you can see here. And what you see is the Val Duration exercise. We did 15 trials. It has the average duration and sound pressure level per trial, as well as the entire SPL sequence. And then at the bottom, it has the average of the 15 trials, both for duration and sound pressure level. If we scroll down, we see the same for the pitch range exercise, 15 trials, the highest pitch, average sound pressure level. We have our low pitch exercise, functional phrases, again at the bottom of the five trials of the functional phrases, you'll see that the average um, SPL or loudness was 82.7 decibels. And finally, any text reading or conversation. And so you can see in this case, our session, there were four different text reading sessions. Um, the average time of each of those sessions and the average SPL, as well as four monitored conversation activities. Again, the time of, or duration of those activities and the SPL. So with this, you do not need to write down or collect data during the session, rather use the companion as your data collection device and then at the end of the session you're able to open up uh, the Excel file as you see here and collect or, or see all of your data. The other way to be able to open those files is you may need to launch the Excel program first and then you can go in and do a open from file, go to your desktop, find your LSVT data folder, and again, same way, open a session file. We'll just pick one here, and you can see the data that were collected. 